Guys, we all know that TikTokers are the smartest people on the planet. Well, there is one TikToker in particular, a BLM member, who's going to explain the history of the world to you. This is an entirely intelligent individual with over 3,000 IQ. I think black people were first. Ah, uh, yes. Everybody knows that America was discovered by black people. And if you don't believe that, you're a Nazi and you don't watch enough Netflix and Disney movies. Black people are the original Indians. Um, when Europeans came to America, they didn't discover it. We discovered it. Um, when they came over here, they said that our skin was so dark that it turned blue. You heard that right. The people that discovered America weren't red skins. They were blue skins. Oh, the pyramids, the beautiful, beautiful pyramids. Um, this is Egypt. Um, this is motherland of black people. This is where we came from. This is the most ancient civilization on the planet. These motherfuckers are colonizers and terrorists. The dark matter in space that's called melanin, which is in black people. So we came from space as well. Aliens. I don't know why people find this so hard to believe. Black people came from space, okay? They're aliens. They crash landed here in Egypt. And then they spread their DNA throughout the world. And they're responsible for literally everything. They're the only good people on the planet. And white people are terrorists. And colonizers. Get with the facts, Jack. And of course, I have to mention the sun. Because as black people, we are literal plants. So we need the sun. You are what you smoke, you know what I'm saying? Yee yee! This woman tries to put I can't breathe on her throat, but instead she puts I can't breath. And she thinks she's smarter than you. That's what's funny. Reminds me of that one movie where he gets a tattoo on his collarbone saying no rug rats. You know, completely spelled wrong. Just like, like her throat is. And they're all proud of it too. And they, and they think they're smart when they're everything but. Good thing she didn't get that tattooed. Look how proud she is, dude. This is hilarious. One thing that's surely hilarious to me is the fact that they think they're supporting Black Lives Matter, but in fact, they're supporting communism. Because that fist that they keep showing off is an actual communist uh, symbolism and, and communist fist. It's not, it's not, has nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. In fact, the person who founded communism, Karl Marx, was a horrible racist. I might not be the same, but that's not important. No freedom till we're equal. Ugh, I can't breath again? Dude, these guys can't spell for shit. So let me get this straight. These people can't even spell the word breathe, but they but they they think they're smart enough to run your life and control you via state law and backed by state violence. Damn right I support it. it might not be the same, but that's not important. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can barely tell that's even supposed to be a thing. Freedom to what equal. Damn right, I support it. You did it! You ended racism by making a TikTok. That's not even a freaking fist, dude. That's fat. That's like a that's like a fistal. You know, like like ankle, cankle. The question, the big question here is, who should run your life? The government or yourself? The people that think they should run their own lives are being called racist by the mainstream media, who honestly don't have an argument. I mean, they have to they have to call the other side mean names in order to get people on their side. So that's all they got is just to freaking lie and say the other side's racist, say right wingers are racist. So what's funny to me is they're sitting here fighting all these imaginary racists, and they actually think they're brave warriors, just like those three TikTokers I just showed you. They're not brave warriors. They're just dorks fighting an imaginary war on racism. You see this big, beautiful Chad? This is Suit Yourself, another YouTuber, a friend of mine. He's the one who made me this beautiful 3D rendering of Dapperton's mansion and universe. He makes excellent content, content like mine, but probably better. You should go check out his channel, link in the description box. Not only that, he, uh, you should uh, just swing by there and subscribe to him just because he helped me out and, and say thank you for making Dapper Tins 3D rendering of his world. I think he deserves some credit where credit is due. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.